Hey, it's your boy Hugh here from Creator App. Welcome back to this tutorial on how to use Auto Video Panel Pro version 3 uh, to stitch footage coming out from an Instant 60 Pro camera. So, let me go ahead and close this and start from scratch so you know exactly how to do that. By the way, you don't need the Auto Panel version 3 to do the same thing. If you have 2.6, uh, or any two-point version of the Auto Video Panel Pro, you can do exactly the same thing. Uh, you, there's a, some new feature you can leverage it, but you don't need that to achieve the same result. So go ahead. Now Auto Video Panel Pro is open. Uh, go ahead and find your footage. Grab it and drag that six lenses into here. So now go ahead and stitch that together. So go ahead and hit, uh, because this video is captured by Instant 360 Pro and this camera, uh, everything is in sync. So there's no need to manually synchronize this. So you can go ahead and go directly to stitch. In stitch, in here, pick lens model and in stitch, uh, pretty small here so I can make it bigger. Uh, but, I got, but the focal point uh, is 10.57 millimeter and the lens time is a fish eye lens. This is a fish eye lenses. Um, so depending on the camera you have, for instant 360 Pro, the focal lens is 10, uh, is 10.57 millimeter in fish eyes. Uh, but for Zcam S1 or Zcam S1 Pro, you might have different number from uh, Obsidian S and Obsidian R, you might have different number. So you can contact your manufacturer to get the actual number and input in here and then you can go ahead and stitch. But before we stitch, actually, uh, I don't want to stitch the whole footage. It's a pretty long footage. So uh, you should always do that, by the way. This is just the best practice in post-production, especially you're gonna, especially you're gonna stitch this by hand. Uh, you always want to preview the footage. So like what I'm doing right now, uh, I'll go ahead and preview the footage right here and, and mark down from what second I want to grab. So the in point and out point. So I get an exactly in point and out point, and so I don't need to render the entire thing because depending on how fast is your machine, uh, it just cut time, take time to do the actual rendering, the stitch footage that you don't wish you, you don't actually really need. So that's just the best practice to lock out what footage you need from the in point and out point. Mark it down in a notepad line right here, and then in AVP you can just type the time code and go ahead and mark an in point. So the red part is the in point. And now go to the out point. Your out point, uh, I mark down is one minute and 47 seconds. And go ahead and mark your out point up right here. And then for the current selected section, you can click the blue part and hit the short key F right here. And so now uh, this, the link is the same as the rendering area. So that is the footage I need to deal with. So now you go ahead and stitch just this area. So hit stitch, uh, same focal length, same length tie, hit OK. But as you see, the footage is upside down, which is common and normal. Uh, don't worry about it, we can fix that. So you don't need this window anymore, we can close that. So that is the rough stitch by AVP. Um, I usually love to hit this compute, uh, compute art at IMS curve. Since you're already using AVP, this sophisticated software, one benefit of using this software is give you a lot of visual indication how good is your stitch. So you can perfect your stitch. So I always love the visual uh, curve, which we generate from here, still working on it right now, uh, IMS analyze right here. Um, so it will give you a curve to see how good is your stitch is, and I always love to just know that um, it's not gonna take long so we will just wait okay so we're done so see we get a consistent curve here so the stitching is actually pretty good uh, so the next thing is I want to like straighten the horizon uh, and also flip the image upside down so what I gotta do is just go ahead and hit edit and open auto panel giga so it's open so go ahead and hit edit. So we open this stitch point. So now go ahead uh, and hit this button to flip the image twice. So now it's in upside. So now it, 
uh, the orientation is correct but again the footage is not level horizonized so uh, if you are actually using uh, this one um, you, you actually would not get uh, a correct result because you cannot adjust horizon line uh, with the default stitcher so uh, that is another benefit of using sophisticated software like this one you can actually correct the horizon line um, you can do it in post if you haven't calculated in in this scenario is no way for me to calculate it because I'm actually on a moving car uh, so the level is not level so I have to fix it in post no matter what so go ahead and fix it in post then uh, so go ahead and hit this vertical line too and find the vertical line in the footage so one here the stop sign is a good one and then look around there's one more stop sign right here in the far distance and then it's a gray telephone pole right here perfect straight lines go ahead and use that and then there's a long telephone line right here we use that as a straight line and that is a long stop side right here I use that as well um, there's also a stop side right here so we use that so I use a lot of telephone pole and stop sign to actually like level my footage so I believe that's enough so go ahead and hit the green side boom and just level your horizon immediately great uh, the next thing is so uh, with this line tell you that that is the center point what viewer will view on your footage and I kind of want to point it into here this this is the main dancer uh, the people that follow the car jumping around right so uh, I will go ahead and right here and adjust the yard right here and then uh, you can go ahead and see see you see the footage right now is a little buried because it's actually not stitched so whenever you want to see the final result go ahead and hit this one call plan and now you see everything stitched together great so uh, while we're at it let's do some color correction so I go ahead and, and hit auto and just make sure everything uh, will have the same color temperature so go ahead and just hit confirm uh, this step is like this camera is doing a pretty good job uh, but usually if you shot stuff like the Samsung gear Nikon key mission if you see the sunlight shine on one lens but the other lens is not facing the sun will have different color temperature and this feature will allow you to just uh, balance the exposure the color throughout all the lenses so it's a really great feature it also come with the AVP uh, which is actually coming with the Giga but you have that and if you want you can also uh, do some like color correction right here basically just uh, increase the contrast slightly to make the footage look pop and I always do that so go ahead and hit yes and then just see the final result right here I'm pretty happy about it so I go ahead and save it so after it's saved it's with automatically refresh see automatically refresh on your ABP uh, Auto Video Panel Pro right here so in order to see the preview we go ahead and hit uh, the GoPro player icon by the way this is a new feature again uh, only available on 3 um, but if you don't have it um, you don't really need that but just help me to see what's going on but again if I open uh, GoPro Video Player it actually open my ocular rip so I need to disconnect uh, don't let the HMD control my camera and just reset my camera horizon so that is the first thing we're gonna see and that's exactly what I want perfect so uh, let's fly a couple frames forward and let's see what is going on on the actual footage so sometime in the hit uh, backward one frame up front frame to refresh the uh, GoPro VR player but as you see right here, Stitch Shine is coming across right here and Stitch and cut the actor in half. That's why if you're using the default software uh, like the Instant 3D Stitcher, uh, you will see ghosting right here because it's constantly trying to calculate uh, between lens what's going on there. And if it's constantly moving, uh, the calculation is not fast enough to create ghosting. That's what happened. Uh, no matter how good the software is, this will be always a problem. 
so we need to fix that um, so and just look around and I realized that on the entire footage that is the constant issue why because uh, the camera is moving with me so the camera distance and him is stay constant so uh, I can apply the general effect for the entire timeline we we'll basically fix this issue one time so uh, that is how my thought process is um, so to fix that in ABP we call it mask it basically masking uh, the couple the two lenses to protect the subject area again if you use mystical VR if you saw my other video uh, it's called weight point and uh, edge point it's just different name the coil but the underneath theory is the same so in ABP it's called masking so I'm gonna get a mask that out uh, so uh, let's minimize this I'll go back in auto kick up so how to mask so see right here is uh, this exact frame we gotta pull in right here right so see the stitch right uh, the stitch right here so pay attention right uh, go ahead and pick this one masking right here mask uh, and then as you see you scroll around you see like how the lens unflow uh, to do to create a stitching so in here if you make sure you add mask for keeping objects right here the green dot and hit one two three and protect him and then you gotta pay attention uh my head right here as you see right here uh is kind of also uh need to protect because i want to kind of make sure i'm protect as well because i'm important right uh most of the time i just cover put a logo right here cover myself but in this scenario just for demonstration purpose i want to protect this as well so i'm gonna go ahead and at some point I protect my head just my head not myself um, and also right here uh, because that is the center of everything uh, I want to protect him in general and also the stop sign right here if you see if I don't do that right here is cut off right here you see so I want to kind of protect it let's actually move it right here so I protect the center lens right here that's what the majority action gonna happen if people doesn't pan their head so protect all this so now go ahead and hit the green check mark the save the option go back just save it and as you see the the cut is off now everything even the cut here is off so everything look good so let's check if it actually look good right so go ahead and save it minimize it so let's see what's going on right now uh, let's go ahead move back one frame just update it so as you see our videographer is protected uh, and also the main action is protected great uh, my head is protected uh, everything look good to me because this area just tripod uh, we can just cover it with a logo so it doesn't matter so this look great to me so that is step one um, so it depends on whatever your producer and your client want like who he want to protect and what is going on you're gonna do this process again 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 and refine your stitch to create that perfect stitch but again that is general let's assume that if the camera is not moving the people is not no moving and your job is done so that is what you do and that is what mystical VR do as well uh, assuming that simple situation that a steady camera and steady actor and but this, in an actual scenario like in the actual shooting it's not that case because people moving around camera move around especially in this case the car is moving the camera is moving people is moving they will cross this line so how to handle situation like that uh, without over complicated thing is basically using animation to move and animate the stitch line uh, that is something that uh, I believe only ABP can do so uh, let's go ahead and use that example we have uh, which is this guy so to help you also a new feature in ABP uh, 3 is now you can actually see what's going on uh, in stitch so basically I gotta go frame by frame right 
sometimes uh, thing you don't need to uh, correct because she's pretty far away. She actually, even she's in the stitch line, she's not gonna cut off. But if you wanna be perfect, uh, if the producer saw it, say, hey, she kinda look weird, can you fix that? You can move this stitch line slightly off her and fix that. Uh, so, uh, but as you see on this frame, uh, most people did not really get cut off, so it's good. You can you can keep moving, but I know because I previewed that in here, right? In the, every final stitch, I previewed it on a high resolution on Ocular Rift, and I know this guy actually got cut off pretty soon in this process. So let's find that. Let's go ahead and keep moving and find his crossing the stitch right here. So as you see. His, his head's missing when he starts crossing. So let's go back one frame, two frame. Why until he starts crossing right here? I will go ahead and the mask, I will use the scissor tool to create a keyframe. Right here. So let's go ahead and continue. He's crossing, he's crossing, he's crossing, he's still crossing, he's still crossing, he's still crossing. Uh, now he come back right here. And from here, I can chop it right here. Let's zoom in from here and see what's going on. So right here, zoom in. Let's assume that uh, we need to render a little bit longer so we actually like, see the full effect, right? So now we have three parts. It's a little bit more. So I insert two key points in the mask. Uh, so it separates three parts. So if you come back, this can come into normal because right now it just Sam, Sam's idea we're gonna only protect the videographer. So everything come back to normal. So only thing you need to fix is when this guy crossing the stitch point. So it's the middle part in between two keyframes. So I don't need to touch this part. I don't need to touch this part. But what I need to touch is actually in the middle right here. So if you zoom right in, it's this part. So this part, I need to kind of animate this of him. So how to do that? Just go ahead and hit edit. <laughs> Again, go back to auto panel giga. And in giga, we pull in that frame right here. So uh, same idea, go into mask right here. And instead of protecting like nothingness here, we'll go ahead and move it right here, right here right here and right here and protect him instead so if you go ahead and hit convert yeah and then hit stitch boom you see that the jump right here he's protected right now so now he's in fully inside the lens uh, so now i'll go ahead and save it And you can minimize it. Look, this thing just move, boom, bounce around. This stitch line just move up and protect the actor. And I can go ahead and do a quick preview. Just hit right here. Moving, moving, boom. Moving, moving, boom. See that? If you hide the stitch line, get rid of the reference. And just preview it. Now he's fully protected. That's it. That is how easy to animate mask to, to create a perfect stitch for your video if your client want to create that protection in a moving camera, moving subject scenario. So uh, just to do some final comparison between the two versions of AVP, uh, most people right now have 2.6 and AVP just really 3.0 in the RC version. Uh, on the new version has something called DRAP, this feature. It's basically like optical flow in your regular stitcher, which it come with um, which is come with uh, this camera. Uh, or more like mystical VR. It's actually 
it's pretty high end. It's like Miska VR uh, optical stitching or other fancy stitching software, which have the optical flow. Um, but again, I don't even need to use that. As you see, I did not use D wrap. I basically animate in a really precise into like millisecond of the stitch point to avoid problem right there. So, uh, with that, you don't really need D wrap or optical flow or any fancy stitching mechanism and you can handle that. But again, if you haven't purchased AVP, you consider buying it, uh, now you're in luck because you go ahead and just buy 3.0, uh, give you all these fancy features like if you're on a PC, uh, it render six times faster, so preview faster. You can see my preview is very fast uh, because I have a PC. And also a fancy feature like, as I mentioned, you can pop up the GoPro VR player and have a live preview, which is a really great feature. Uh, I always check this window. And also, uh, one thing that's really help you to find what's going on is people causing stitch point is the stitch line. This is all new feature only available in AVP3. So if you're purchasing AVP3, uh, I mean, haven't purchased it, you are in love if you consider buying it. Um, but besides that, I don't think you actually need to spend the money if you already have the older version. Just stick with the older version. Uh, just understand where's the stitch point of your camera and try to eyeball it, and it's actually really easy to tell. Uh, if you don't see the problem, you don't need to fix it. Even the actor is in, this, in stitch line. This girl uh, was in the stitch line, but she's so far away from the camera, she's not really got cut off. Uh, there's no parallax issues. If there's no parallax issue, you don't need to fix things. So hopefully you learned something from this video. Again, uh, if you like it, please give me a thumb up. Uh, if you have more questions, and I'm sure you have more questions about AVP and this post-production workflow because it's pretty complicated. Uh, please ask me in the comment below and I will do my best to answer every of your question. Or if I cannot answer that question, I will make a tutorial just for you to answer your question. Uh, again, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, uh, you want to learn more about pole production in virtual reality and video production, please subscribe to my channel. And I will see you next time.